You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Ben Bradley, Lourdes Duarte, Demetria Ivory with weather, Shannon Halligan with traffic, and Jared Payton with sports. This is WGN Evening News at 4. Parents who send their kids to two separate schools that share the same building say they're fed up with how school leaders handled a lockdown earlier this week. Jewel Hillary is joining us now live in Kenwood with that story. Jewel. Hi, Ben and Lourdes. North Kenwood, Oakland, also known as NKL Charter School, which is affiliated with the University of Chicago, along with CPS's Aerial Community Academy, went on lockdown Tuesday afternoon after a gun went off in the building. Some parents that we talked to say they're not only frustrated with the, communi the communication that came out during that lockdown, but say they also want to see more preventative measures taken. It was two o'clock, it's Tuesday, they send an email, look at my heart's race, right? so they send an email and they're like, hey, the school is on lockdown, don't come up here, stay away from campus until for further notice. NKO Charter School parent Alicia Harris says when she got that email from the school, she admits she got worried and like many parents came up to the campus in the 1100 block of East 46th Street. After that first email, Alicia said she received two more email updates that afternoon indicating the school was prioritizing student safety, but not specifying why the school was on lockdown. However, she says parents started hearing that a gun went off in the building, but that wasn't confirmed until later that night when NKO sent another email stating a firearm discharged at Aerial Community Academy, the CPS school NKO shared with. Kenitra Collins, an aerial parent, says she would have appreciated more robust from CPS. On my end, I actually did not receive any uh, correspondence of any sort until about 3 o'clock p.m. as I was pulling up to the school and I got an automated call from the school. And then I checked my email later on and I got an email from the school around 6 in the evening. What I do like is that they reached out, they communicated every time they had an update. But what I would have liked to know was my child was safe. Now, as it relates to how NKO parents were informed about the incident, NKO shared a letter to families today in part saying, please know that our first step will always be to address the situation and ensure that all members of our community are safe. We then prioritize confirming that we have accurate information before communicating with our community. We thank you for your understanding that these steps take time and we assure you that we will always communicate with you as quickly as permissible. We also received a statement from CPS, which in part says we will continue to work with the Ariel Elementary Community Academy community to ensure their concerns are heard about this incident to promote a safe teaching and learning environment for our students and staff and clear communication. On an ongoing basis, we continually review and refine our safety and communication protocols to ensure we are implement implementing proactive solutions to prevent future incidents. Now, Alicia says that to prevent something like this from happening again, she would like both schools to con to consider metal detectors, random blocker checks and a police presence on campus. For now, reporting in Kenwood, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.